Welcome back to another episode of Out Loud Geek, where we discuss news and views about pop culture, science fiction, fantasy, food, cooking, the outdoors, and more. The Super Mario Brothers movie has achieved something that no Disney animated movie has been able to do in four years. Earn over a billion dollars. The last two Disney animated movies to make over a billion dollars were released in 2019, and they were Toy Story 4 and Frozen 2. The Super Mario Brothers movie is now one of only 10 animated movies that has earned at least $1 billion at the box office, and it currently sits at number 9, having surpassed 2016's Zootopia, and it won't be long before it displaces a number of Disney animated movies that are currently sitting just above it in the list. Part of the reason why the Super Mario Brothers movie was able to surpass $1 billion was that its most recent weekend-to-weekend drop in domestic box office was only 33%. In fact, all of the movie's weekend-to-weekend drops in domestic box office have been less than 40%, with the highest being 37%. No MCU movie has been able to maintain that level of interest at the box office, nor have any of Disney's most recent animated movies. But the bigger reason why the Super Mario Brothers movie has surpassed a billion dollars is its international box office earnings, which experienced a smaller weekend-to-weekend drop this weekend than the weekend before. Currently, the total gross domestic box office earnings for the movie is $490 million. The total gross international box office earnings to date are now at $532.4 million. But this does not yet appear to include any of their earnings from South Korea or Japan because the Super Mario Brothers movie opened in those two markets this weekend. Thus, the current global gross box office earnings for the Super Mario Brothers movie, as of the time that I'm recording this video, are around $1,022.4 And that will surely go up considerably once the box office data for Japan and South Korea have become available. Let's take a look at just a few of the other movies that the Super Mario Brothers movie has surpassed in terms of both domestic and global box office earnings. Let's see. It has currently surpassed the domestic earnings of 2022's Black Panther Wakanda Forever by $36.2 million, as well as its global earnings by $168.5 million. And it has surpassed the domestic earnings of 2022's Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness by $78.7 million, as well as its global earnings by $70.3 million. What's also interesting are some of the movies that the Super Mario Brothers movie will more than likely surpass very soon in terms of earnings. It only needs to earn another $25.2 million domestically to surpass the $515.2 million that that dumpster fire of a movie, The Rise of Palpatine, earned back in 2019, as well as another $50.3 million globally to surpass its global earnings. It also only needs to earn another $43.5 million domestically to surpass the domestic $533.5 million that 2016's Rogue One earned, as well as another $32.6 million globally to surpass that film's global earnings. I must admit that I will get a very good laugh when the domestic and global earnings for the Super Mario Brothers movie surpasses those of that dumpster fire of a movie, The Rise of Palpatine. But we'll have to wait and see just how much the final box office earnings for the Super Mario Brothers movie will be in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching today, and a huge thanks to everyone who has subscribed to our channel. We appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and please feel free to share a comment. If you'd like to see more of our videos in the future and help support this channel, please press the red subscribe button, and please press the bell to receive notifications for new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter by clicking on the links in the description. Until next time, this is Out Loud Geek.